So as you can see, we're on the uh, Bim River Road now. See where it's gone through and just burn it, everything. G'day guys, welcome back to another video series. Tomorrow I'm going to be heading to Bem River, which will be round one, Hobie Kayak Series 12, the first round of 2020. As you can see, Hobie have made this great fishing jersey, which I'll be rocking out on the um, on game day. So yeah, just all your sponsors down the left-hand side and things like that. So Great jersey, very comfortable. So yeah, as you very well know, Bem River, Mallacoota, all down that area, they struggled with the uh, fires over the Christmas period. Consequently, a lot of people haven't gone to that area, like tourists and things like that, because they haven't been able to get through. Uh, a lot of the roads and that were sort of blocked off. It's a very important round for us because we want to go back down there and give back what they give to us every, every time we head down there and fish these unbelievable places. Hobie this year will be donating $5 per fish weighed in at the event that's awesome too great move from hobie hobie have decided to drop the one use plastic bottles that we've been getting each year each round and now what they've done is made a series 12 drink bottle which uh, will be filled in drinking stations so that's a great idea good move hobie in my book reducing the carbon footprint is always a good idea 120 anglers have registered i believe or just under so that's a record now for any hobie kayak series round so that's awesome Hopefully 120 anglers go there with their po pockets full and leave with their pockets empty because yeah the, the bushfires have just really wrecked these communities. Hopefully we can uh, you know give some money back to them and um, they can sort of get back on their feet again because they just really rely on that Christmas time um, financially throughout the years. Like, subscribe, all that jazz. I'm going to pack up this kayak now and um, we're going to get ready and I will see you back here at about 5 or 6 o'clock tomorrow morning as I head to BEM for the long awaited 6 hour trip. guys that's me packed i will see you tomorrow at 6 a.m tomorrow morning so uh yeah like subscribe all that jazz and i will see you here in the morning good morning guys it is thursday it is 7 25. now i know i said i was trying to get away at about five or six in the morning but unfortunately kids with nightmares and up all night Sometimes that doesn't work. Sometimes it doesn't go to plan. I'm gonna hit the road in about 15, 20 minutes. I'm gonna try and get the drone up in some, some of them uh, bushfire affected areas and show you guys. And then I'm gonna find somewhere to fish for a few hours. Round one, Hobie Kayak Series 12. Driving to Bem River. The journey starts now. You can call me stupid. Dale. <laughs> G'day Dale. 
Let Bam River begin. <laughs> <laughs> about uh, one o'clock. I've just pulled into a little town called Bansdale. I'm gonna head into the Coles now and just grab some necessities. Not sure yet whether we're gonna have a fish or not. It's about one o'clock, so we're probably still a couple of hours away from BEM. By the time we set the boats up and things like that, we may run out of time. We don't wanna to get to BEM too late. And we definitely wanna get some footage with the drones and things like that of the uh, road leading into BEM. I dare say we'll spend a bit of time doing that. We'll just make a decision as the day goes on. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna head into the, to Coles now and just get some groceries, etc. And gotta get a um, slab of beers. Two bunch of bitches shopping. <laughs> what would you like, darling? Alright, so our uh, plan is we're going to drop the boats in. I'm just going to go throw one rod in. I'm going to drop in here at Lake Centrance. Just have a quick flick around. I'm going to probably spend about an hour and a half here. I want to put the drone up and sort of get some footage around the mouth and things like that. It's just amazing the waterway here. So beautiful tur turquoise water. So we're about an hour and a half out of BEMS. So can sort of spare three or four hours. One rod, drone, camera. You know, if Dale starts smashing, we'll get a bit of footage doing that. Yeah, I mean, I'm happy enough just to tag along with Dale and just do a bit of filming and capture this uh, beautiful place. So this is uh, Lake Centrance. We're gonna see if we can uh, drop the yak in down here, which it'll be no problem down there. But uh, awesome beach, hey Dale? Nice beach. So heading out of Geelong this morning, I said to Dale on the phone, I knew I forgot something, so I've just figured it out, I forgot my wheels, so um, I'm going to have to use Dale's. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's no scared the crap out of me. <laughs> That's a lot of spider. <laughs> That's off film. <laughs> I thought it was a spider. Oh, <laughs> that scared like that? the shit out of me. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's getting crap out in the car no fish beautiful area though that was um nice to get out the uh winds picked up a fair bit now yeah we're just going to head to bem now we should be there we've got about an hour and a half it's 4 30 now so that makes it six o'clock uh maybe with an hour's stop just along that uh, bem river road uh, very hot now actually it's humid the air condition on yeah so we might stop on the way in and um just get some photos and drone footage of uh the uh, road there at Bem River. Other than that, beautiful spot here at Lake Centrance. We're actually looking at coming down here next weekend, so um, absolutely beautiful down here. Like just the water, I couldn't get over the water clarity, so no wonder the fish don't want to play. Um, sun's above our heads and bright, no cloud cover, and I just want to stay deep.
stage you can see we're on the uh, Bent River Road now just pure carnage from the fires that they had here at Christmas time and all, all through the New Year's. You can just clearly see where it's gone through and just burn it everything like just it's sad to see it's mother nature to uh for this to happen and then everything regrow and everything sort of you know reproduce and get back on track Alright, so we've made it, we're in the house. We've made it, Dale. Dale's uh, popped open a coronavirus for me. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Got some uh, pretty cool drone footage there of the uh, fire affected places. Caravan park over there. Seating area, obviously. We've got a nice TV. A couple of beds in here. Nice. As we move down to the hallway, we have another group of beds. Three beds in here. Obviously, someone's claimed that. Oh, queen and two singles. So, um, that's pretty cool. So, what's that? That's five, six, seven, eight beds. Shower area. Got me. Toilet. Yeah, we're just gonna sort of get all the uh, rods ready now, ready for pre-fish. I'll uh, sort out what I'm gonna throw in the morning and um, sort of work it out as we move along through the day. So um, yeah, I'll, I'll tie on a surface, subsurface, deep, and um, shallowish lure. <laughs> Don't know yet. But um, yeah, so that's it. That's the uh, day one travel down and um, we'll uh, set up these rods and get ready for pre-fish.